three, two, one. Ignition and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and five solid rocket boosters ignite to lift the rocket away from the pad. The RD-180 generates more than 860,000 pounds of thrust, with each of the five solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, providing an additional 348,500 pounds of thrust. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 35 seconds. The first two SRBs are jettisoned at 1 minute 46 seconds, followed a second and a half later by the remaining three SRBs. Approaching payload fairing jettison, the Atlas V is burning propellant at a rate of 2,000 pounds per second, traveling approximately 7,300 miles per hour, and located 73 miles in altitude and 150 miles downrange. During ascent, the spacecraft is protected inside a 5 meter diameter payload fairing. This two-piece shell encapsulates both the Centaur second stage and the satellite. At approximately 3 minutes 23 seconds, the vehicle is climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere and the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 4 minutes 26 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the main engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At 4 minutes 42 seconds, the first Centaur main engine burn begins, sending the Centaur into a circular orbit. At 11 minutes 42 seconds, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The Centaur main engine is restarted at 22 minutes 50 seconds for the second of three engine burns. Approximately six minutes later, second cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs. At 29 minutes 23 seconds, a payload attached to the Centaur's aft bulkhead separates. This 12U cube set provided by the Air Force is designed to test new capabilities of small satellites used by U.S. government agencies. Following separation, the mission enters a five-hour coast phase. The main engine ignites for a third and final burn at five hours, 36 minutes. Nearly three minutes later, Centaur completes its final engine cutoff following fuel depletion. Five hours, 40 minutes, 36 seconds into flight, Centaur releases the Air Force's AEHF-5 satellite on its mission to provide communications for high-priority military ground, sea, and air assets. 